All right, crew. Let's go ahead and get started today. We're going to start off today, first, with running, whether you can run in place. If you got a little tough distance, you can run up and down. Or if you want to run a big circle, you're more than welcome to do that. All right, we're going to do it for one minute and begin. Like I said, if you don't have room to really run, just run in place. Or if you got room, you Fifteen seconds. Almost there. All right, and time. Next round. What we're going to do. If you got the room, or some sliding. If you have room, sliding up and down, just like so. If you don't have room, then I want you to step just like so. Okay, step just like so. Or if you've got the room, slide. One minute and begin. You're sliding if you've got the room. So. Or stepping. Like so. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. And time. All right, next minute. What you're gonna do? Right here, I want you to come up, just like so. Okay. Now, if you want to increase it to kind of do like a thrusting forward knee. If you've got the distance, that's what I want to do. On your back knee, back right knee, and just like that. So. If you don't have the room, then just here. Okay? Either one. All right, one minute and begin. Knee up and down. Knee up and down. Just like so. Or if not, then we will be it. You can also still uh, press up, press forward a little bit. It's more of a stationary position. Seconds. Three, two, one, and time. All right, next one. We're going to do the same idea except now with a push kick. So you're either stationary push kicking just like so, or if you've got distance, walking down. Okay, one minute, begin. Push kick is one, you want it around your waist level. Okay, you're not trying to necessarily go for the head. All right, you're trying to go for the waist abdomen area. You hear you push out just like so. 30 seconds. Right, 
Keep going. 15, about 10 seconds. All right, it's time. All right, so now let's have a little fun with this one. So now what we're going to do, we're going to come up to our knee, set it back down, push kick, punch. Knee, push kick, punch. Okay, so now we're combining the two and then adding a punch at the end. So same leg as both, the knee and the kick, and then you punch with the other side in. Okay? Just like so. All right, one minute. And go. So if you can do it without dropping your foot, creates a little bit of an interesting challenge too. So you can't drop. Yeah. Push. And then punch here. And I've like maneuvered your hips a lot. 30 seconds. It's okay if you don't get a lot of these in. Fifteen seconds. And time. All righty. Let's go ahead and stretch it out now. First thing we're going to start off with, we're going to have our hands up. We're going to do a deep lunge, breathe out, come up, breathe in. So take a deep breath in here, deep breath out, deep breath in. So you want to do about six seconds of going down and up. Okay? So. You want to take your time with this one. You want it to be about a six second breathe, breath for in and out. Um, that's giving your, your chest ability to expand. You're getting oxygen to your muscles and to the rest of your body. And at the same time, you are also stretching as well. One thing I've had to learn with stretching is slow it down. I'm like, all right, let's stretch. And, okay, let's go. But I'm like, okay, wait. So we need to actually stretch. So when you go down, you can also lean forward into it. All right, from here we're gonna do 10 Frankensteins up on each leg. So 20 total. You can hear the leg nice and relaxed. All right, once you're done with 10 on each side, I think Leanne's frozen there. But she's really great at being still. Oh, all right, uh, once you do that, then I want you to do 10 on the side. Each side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. This one I definitely recommend doing one side at a time. All right, once you're done with the 20 there, then go ahead, circle kicks. Head on each leg. Next, let's do five on each leg, for time purposes. All right, got a minute left, soon as you're done with those. Continue stretching on your own. Stretch out anything you feel needs to be more stretched. For you personally, okay, main focal points that also recommend stretching is your wrist, 
your ankles and your neck. Okay? And stretch the legs out, stretch the hips out, shoulders out decently. So whatever you feel needs to be stretched more, utilize this time to stretch on your own. Got about 30 seconds in. Stretching everything and anything. Like I said, wrists, ankles, neck, shoulders, hips if you need more hip stretches. Fifteen seconds. And time. All right, from here, let's go ahead and go into the fitness challenge, two minute fitness challenge. So what we're gonna do today is uppercuts and then up downs, which are burpees without push ups. Okay, so what you're gonna do is here, say I'm at three, right? I'm gonna do one, two, three, I'm gonna go down, one, two, three. Almost fell there, that's why I paused it. Right? One, two, and then I'm gonna go back down. One, two, one, and then I'm gonna go back down, do another up down, one, and I'm done. So pick five, seven, or ten, whichever number you decide. And work your way down. You got two minutes to beat the clock. All right, your goal is to get to zero before two minutes. If you start at five, just to kind of see where you're at, and if you get done, and there's plenty of time left, you can continue stretching, get you a sip of water, or work your way up. So go six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tell how you can go. If you're starting at seven to ten, stretch against the clock, same thing. At the end of it as well, get your drink, continue stretching. All right, two minutes, and begin. I couldn't tell if you were frozen, not Leanne, so I was like, is she frozen or is she waiting? Is she good? <laughs> All right. Ten seconds down. Hurry up. Race against the clock. Good. 30 seconds down, a quarter of the way through. Your goal is to go as fast as you can. You want to beat that clock. Remember to breathe the whole time, though. Don't stop breathing. Make sure you're breathing in and out. I like to breathe out when I'm punching. And also, don't breathe too fast out of where you start to have to ventilate either. All right? Make sure you're breathing. That's what matters. Halfway through, one minute left. Will you complete it? Will you beat it? Oh, uh Leanne, -oh, you're starting to freeze up. Might lose you again. Just keep going. Forty-five seconds. Oh no, now you're back. Fully. All right, cool. Yeah. Thirty seconds. A quarter of the time remains. This is where you want to be at like three or four. If you're at three or four, you have a good chance of beating it. You gotta go fast. 20 seconds. Will you beat the clock? 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right. If you're almost there, great job. If you started at 10 and made it to four, still a win. You know where you stand. Now your goal is to get to three or get to two. If you were starting at 10 and got to two or something like that, then your goal is to then just beat it. All right? Just got to go a little faster, which is okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right? And if you did beat it, great job. Go to the next level next time. All right? And these, do change, these will change every week. So, all right, from here, let's go ahead and work on some kickboxing stuff. So the first thing we're going to work on, first our stance. Remember, you want to have one leg in front. So, so one leg in front is pointed towards the target. The other leg is perpendicular to that. And that helps with the balance, helps the movement. I also like to have my back heel off the ground. It helps lead me in. Plus, I'm going to move around a lot easier. I 
go a lot wider on my feet. Okay? Well, that's also true if I need to go in to throw a knee or throw a kick or whatever. All I gotta do is push on the ball of my foot instead of having to lift my foot up. Okay? So we're here. That's waist down, waist up, shoulders nice and tall, nice and back. Okay, don't, don't fuck. Alright? Be nice and preventable. Elbows in, hands are up. Alright, you want your hands up, about face level. Okay? You start here, and as you get tired, you'll kind of start to go down, which is okay. All right, but if you start here and start to go down, then you start to get down to like the shoulder level, and that's not good. All right, so you want to start, want to try to keep your hands head level the whole time. All right, and what I mean by that is like keep on here. Okay, keep on here. So we're here, elbows in. This is great for when you need a block, you can just kind of lean or drop your hand a little bit. All right, so we're here, 10 touch. All right, that's a good, uh, good fighting sense. Okay, you want to be relaxed though. You want to stay relaxed. All right. So although you got all these certain areas where your body needs to be at, but you want to be relaxed. All right. So we're gonna start off jab, cross. All right, moving around, jab, cross. Moving around, jab, cross. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Minute and a half. Begin. Just like so. Good. One minute. One minute. Thirty seconds, keep it going. Three, two, one, and time. All right, other side, same thing. Other side, same thing, and begin. Jab cross. Notice when I'm going out the punch, I'm snapping it, popping it, striking it. All right, you don't want to take your time with it. You want to pop it, especially that cross. The jab, that's more of a distraction. It's like, hey, I'm over here. So you're here, then boom, straight in. Okay, you want to be fast. All right, you want to be quick. Speed and strength. Just like so. All right, 45 seconds, halfway there. Now also too, one thing you do, I like to do, like pop in with it. 30 seconds. Very good, very good. That's 15 seconds. Five, four, three, Two, one, and time. All right. From here, next workout we're going to do, we're going to hold planks for 45 seconds. All right, planks. You can either do hands if you don't have anything comfortable to lay on. If you do have something that you can put, if you're outside or anything like that, then preferably elbows. If you're inside and say you got carpet, I'd recommend putting a pillow down, you know, something like that to where you don't get carpet burn potentially. Um, blanket, you know, anything like that. So, 45 seconds, planks, 
Starting in three, two, one, begin. Ten seconds. And time. All right. Next round for kickboxing. All right, so here we go. Next round we're going to do. Jab, cross, hook, back round kick. Okay. Jab, cross, Hook, back round kick, just like so. All right, back leg round kick. Now with that, you do have to spin quite a bit. Now that's also with it if you need the distance. Obviously when you're punching here, they're ideally, you know, within, within reach. So you could do a front leg if you want. Or have the mindset when you hook them, they kind of fall a little bit to that way. You're meeting them over there more than you are in front of you, okay? So there's a lot of different scenarios where you'll have to decide whether a front leg or a back leg, okay, whether a hook will work or not, stuff like that. Okay, you might be jab, cross, uppercut, right? So it could be anything, okay? But we're gonna work on today, jab, cross, hook, round two. 45, or a minute 30, go. That hook, you still wanna be quick. Uh, you still want to be fast with it. Now there's two ways to throw the hook. Either have up and down, just like so, or you have horizontal, just like so. Okay? Some people like the horizontal better. Some people prefer the, the vertical. I personally prefer the vertical because it gives room for error. A lot more room for error. I've got about two to three inches room of error, where here I only have one to two, roughly. Okay? It's like four inches, somewhere around there. I've never been good on measuring that. Oh, 45 seconds. Two, three, round kick. Now I realize I'm too close to the computer, so I'm not trying to kick your feet. Looking at where you're kicking. 30 seconds. Right, 10 seconds. Fast, fast, fast. You want to be moving quick. Three, two, one, and time. All right, switch sides. Same thing on the other side. And begin. Excellent, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Ooh. 
three, two, one, and time. All right, 45 seconds next for flutter kicks. Flutter kicks. So we're going to be down on our back. Definitely put your hands behind you, all right? Definitely put your hands right here, right up, right on your cell phone, and it helps support to where it's hurting All right? Flutter kicks, just like so. 45 seconds. Starting in three, two, one, begin. Next round. So from here, what we're gonna do? Now we're going to clinch knee, two knees. All right. So one, two, elbow. All right. So changing it up a little bit. One, two, elbow. Just like so. All right. So the way I like to do it is I clinch behind their head, right? I bring in one, I bring in two, I keep the one hand there, and I bring them in with me. All right? So two knees and then elbow. Begin. Who's calling? Potential spam. Go figure. One minute. Now, additionally, something that could be happening too. As you're throwing that knee, they can be moving backwards, so you'll have to walk with them. They have to go with them. They're not gonna, they may not just stand there and take the beating. You'll have to go with them, like, oh, okay, you want to leave? Nope, not going to happen. 30 seconds. Very good, very good. 15 seconds. And time. All right, let's go to the other side. Same combo. Minute and a half. Begin. One side might feel a little uncomfortable. It's okay. It's meant to. All right, it's meant to. Okay, so that way you get at least somewhat comfortable, or at least have an idea where you have to use that side then you are able to. Okay, it's not something that you've never worked on before. So, do I like, do I prefer my right leg to do kicks? Most definitely. Does that mean I'm not gonna do a kick with my left leg though? No, I still will. Just gotta make yourself comfortable with it. So, clinch two knees, elbow strike. 40 seconds. Like I said, I like to continue and take my hand in my elbow too, as if I'm, I still have a hold of them and bring them in. Just like so. 25 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one, and time. 
All right, this next round, we're going to do wall sits for a minute and 48 seconds. So the Taekwondo kids this, week, this month are doing wall sits throughout the month, and we're going to do it with them today. All right, so we're going to join them today. So if you've got a spot that you can lean against, uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be a wall. It could be a board. It could be a dresser. It could be, like, literally anything. I mean, anything that is at least sturdy enough and smooth where you can prop up against it. All right, now let me turn to this where you can see me. There we go. All right, minute 48 seconds. And again. You can intensify this however you want. You can have your hands above you. You can have your hands out in front of you. You can lower. You can bring your knees in. A lot of things you can do. Make it much more complicated. Much more intense. I've done it a couple times today, so I'm already burning, you know. But that's okay. You know, I'm surprised while you're sitting here, too. Those books. Those cover cards. You guys hold those. We have about one minute left. Minutes, pull down, get your sip of water, pull down, stretch, stretch anything that feels like it's burning at the moment, or anything that you think will burn later. Oh, I gotta turn the computer back around. There we go. All right, so go ahead and cool down, stretch there. Go ahead and stretch along with me if you can. First thing I'm gonna do is chest expansions, just kind of get my shoulders moving. You're welcome to do your own cool down stretching or you're welcome to join with me. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my feet up wide. I'm gonna lean from side to side, putting pressure on where I feel the pain. So I feel pain more up, up on my upper level of my thigh. So I wanna put pressure there. Slight amount of pressure, not much. I'm going to alternate the side, so I'm going to pour it for four or five seconds. And then alternate between the two. All right, now I'm going to do four some twists. Twists. Everything here is just trying to touch up the back a little bit. And I'm going to lay it across. Lay it over my head. All right. Give everything a good shake. Loosen everything up. All right, I'll see. Yep. All right, great job today. Hope everyone's worked out. Leanne, hope you got a good workout. You're sweating. All right, have a good rest of y'all's day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.